Hey guys, this is Goldie again. Welcome to the Frontline Worker SKU course, or like a video series or guide, whatever you want to call it. In the last video, uh, we discussed the overview, what is Google Frontline Worker SKU and how you can leverage it. In this video, let's talk about the features that you get with Google Frontline Worker SKU. There are some limitations to it. I'll put some light on that too. And then finally, I show you the user experience demo, what the user uh, will be seeing when he or she logs in to a respective frontline worker uh, license or the account. Okay, so let's start with the core services that user with frontline worker SKU will get. So that user will get Gmail, of course, along with Gmail, he or she will also get Drive. And when I said Drive, it would uh, include Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and forms okay after drive user will have access to google calendar as usual where you know user can create the primary calendar secondary calendar and so on user will have access to google chat as well so that you know he or she can do instant messaging a uh, user can also do video conference calls with google meet right in the browser and google uh, frontline worker user will also have access to things like google sites Google Tasks, and also uh, personal contacts, which also includes the company directory, okay? Now, there are some limitations to it, of course, because you are paying less on the one side, so other side, there will be some limitations. This is not at all a, a, a granular list or the complete list, but this might give you some sort of reference to those limitations. Number one, storage capacity. With Google Frontline license, user will get two gigabytes of maximum storage. In case if you need more storage, you have an option to upgrade that user to other Google Workspace licenses, for example, Google uh, Workspace Enterprise or Enterprise Plus and so on, okay? Now, users uh, with Frontline Worker SKU can of course create their own content in Google Drive, you know, Docs, Share, uh, doc sheet slides etc but when it comes to shared drives user can only view the content cannot create content in shared drive that's the limitation for frontline worker sku also when uh, frontline worker sku uh, is organizing google meet meetings the maximum participants they can invite will be up to 100 personally i think that shouldn't be the use case most of the times or i would say always when you are a frontline worker in the field and you really need to do video conference when you're organizing especially with more than 100 people if that's the use case it might be a good idea to uh, upgrade to google workspace okay now with that let me show you the user experience demo of google frontline worker account so i have my uh, admin console here where i created this user called uh, flw which is frontline worker 5 so i will go to this user i'll move myself in the corner somewhere here if i scroll down to this user you will see that there are three licenses assigned to this and the primary license is Google Workspace Frontline. So now I'll go to incognito window and let's log in to maybe uh, Gmail uh, with this user. So I'll say uh, FLW5, I'll enter the password to this user and I am now in Gmail. As usual, Gmail is pretty similar, no difference here. Uh, I can click on the application launcher and I can see that I have access to Google Drive, including doc sheets and slides. I can also access Google Calendar, chat, meet, forms, current sites, uh, contacts, etc. So I will go to Google Drive. I won't be able to test Google Meet. I don't have 100 participants to add right now, but I can let you see the experience for Google Drive. I can, of course, go and create you know, doc sheets, slides, etc. But when I go to Share Drive, you will see when I do the right click, the option to create new Share Drive is grayed out. So I can't uh, share, I, I can create a file inside Share Drive. But of course, I can log in or I can just access the shared drive, which is being shared with me by somebody else, and I can, you know, uh, view the contents. Go back to our mind map. This is what happens uh, with the 
Google Frontline Worker SKU. I hope that might have helped you a bit in understanding which features functionalities uh, will be accessible to Google Frontline Worker SKU. I might create a separate video where I'll show the administration side of it. Uh, so as an administrator, you can uh, figure out which controls and with security policies you can enforce the user enforce on the user which has frontline work or SKU. Till then, if you have any questions or comments or feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much.